you guys remember Pat Green and Wave on Wave. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah, that was a good song. So I'm like, I'm going to rock out Wave on Wave. Wave on Wave is on the playlist that I woo these ladies at. Oh. So I'm like, all right, go out here, Wave, wave on Wave. So they put me on stage. And again, I don't know. I'm not good. So I'm like, da, 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 da. I was like, that's not good. That didn't sound right. like, this is live. This is live. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, are hey. you sweating at this point? Oh, dude. I'm like, I'm like, hey, you know, let me start that over. Reboot. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hayden Outbound Podcast. I'm Philip. I'm Steven. I'm Graham. Let me introduce the guests today real quick for this light, funny episode that we got lined up for you guys. So this is Steve, Scuba Steve, Brother Steve. I don't know what you want to call him. I just call him Steve. You'll remember this guy. You remember he wandered in the shedio about episode 43 with his awkward self. So Steve's back to redeem his awkwardness today. And his he's really filling his brother's seat. So Shane is Steve's That's brother. Not going to be very difficult on that. Yeah. Point. So the bar's not too high, he says. And then also, some of you may recognize this is Graham. So Graham is joining us today. Not only is he a Hayden Knight, he has moved to Huntsville, but he's still Hayden Knight at heart. So but he's the creator and host of the Fit Fat Dad podcast. So after you listen to this one, make sure you go listen to that one. Especially if you're a, a dude or a dad, man, they got a lot of great topics for, for us guys. So they're trying to help us out one show at a time. There we go. I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and, and say that just from a aesthetic standpoint, I'm probably doing a lot better than your other counterpart <laughs> that you have to do with. So, well, that leads to a story. The ratings will go up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's, let's illustrate your claim about aesthetics so steve and i we're not proud of this but it's part of our childhood you know when we were when steve first was getting in college we used to go to the night places it's just that time it's, of, it's just that time of life yeah. you know college going out at night and steve has always been a great dresser and so you I, think yeah, a lot of times you said you, metro. you look homeless today you said metro at some point you, which i was not a fan of you, I would go, yeah i don't know man i I, I, you, you were the then, guy that everybody wanted to be like, and I'm just saying, like then I I, I was okay with Metro. Now looking back, I'm not yeah, okay it's with a Metro. different term. Yeah. So I've always been blue jeans and a, and a shirt. If we were going out, that's what it would be: blue jeans, nice shirt. We'd go out. Well, one night I come to pick Abercrombie model up here, Steve, <laughs> at his house. So I pull up at his house, pick him up. He comes out of the house in some sort of nice Abercrombie jeans faded out. They're perfectly in style. Some short, he's got on five shirts with a polo collar on top. Collar, collar, collar is yeah. popped. And then here's the thing. So here's why I'm telling the story on top of all those things that are normal. He's wearing sweatbands. So I don't know if we, I thought we were going to play tennis. He, here comes Andre Agassi out of the house with sweatbands. Like he's headed to the courts and I'm making fun of him. I mean, I am giving him up the river about how ridiculous he looks. We go in the place, in our destination, and one girl after the next comes up to him and is talking to him. And at that moment, what, what, what did I learn? I learned that style is something I don't have. Sweatbands. Then I was not interested. In yeah, that's exactly women. right. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. But I learned that day that Steve has always had an element of style different than mine. But obviously, it spoke to some people. You know, I saw a picture the other day. Did I send it to you? That said, I think well, I'm going to try to bring it back. They're coming back. You think I could? You think my hair would be the same if I grew it out again? I think it, you, you. Well, you used to put so much product in that hair, but <laughs> I you had to tame it. Well, I, did he have the front tuck? That was always the yes, big thing. Absolutely. I still front tuck you now. Take, okay. I okay. Still, do you, I mean, do you not? I do not front tuck. <laughs> <laughs> but you, I, look, there's a difference there. Like now, I've got the dad belly going on, so you, the front tuck. Doesn't who work as who well. was responsible for the front tuck? Brit Bowen, Hoover. Hoover. See, I always thought it was Gimp. <laughs> was it Gimp? I, I always thought it was Gimp, and I thought he started that worldwide. I thought he may have. I thought it originated in Hayden, Alabama. I think you're right, but you had the like the front tuck and then the Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks. What were the, Bir- the cargo Birkenstock, pants? Like the covered Birkenstocks, yes. not just the sandals. Uh-uh. Well, with, I had both. with socks or without? Definitely. Oh, yeah, he was without. You were without. I was without. Because yeah. if you had socks with sandals growing up, that you would be plastered on the wall. That was the number one. But those thing were a closed do. toe. It didn't matter, man. You don't think so? Yeah. I think I wore socks because my feet sweat so bad. Well, You're talking about ruining a pair of Birkenstocks. Well, speaking of feet, you remember, Dude. like, I would clear out a... a Do you remember your Birkenstocks? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, we'd be in class and be like, and, you know, you always had the, like, shaky foot. You'd be like... 
like, you know, like you know, the nervous foot. It, it, like, it was just, it, it was starting like, and I always, I always knew because I'd go to class early in the day and it's, you know, you'd smell it. Is today going to be a bad day? Yeah. Right? Inev- inevitably, you'd always start out positive. Right? Like today, <laughs> yeah, we're going to make it through today. And you get about third period and you'd be like sitting there this and that is, this test you didn't study for. <laughs> Stephen, somehow you always sat in front of me and I was back. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, this is—I smell it too. I'm really, I'm really stressed. Were yeah. so potent. <laughs> they were the worst. I mean, but Birkenstocks came back too. I don't know if they're still in today, but they made a comeback. I think they're coming. They're coming back. But what just if, from a like a like how well made they were. You're they that should forever. have eaten through those shoes. Well, That's pretty good selling yeah, point for those. Yeah, like, it, it was like the bubonic plague was like trapped in mm-hmm. that court soul. Mm-hmm. But then you you would put that into like the Hayden high school football locker room. So you absorb those smells. Every bad smell you could absorb was in that Birkenstock. And it would come out in like Mr. Arnold's math class. <laughs> Speaking of um, <laughs> locker room, do you remember ever washing your practice attire? No, it would stand up in the locker by itself. Do, that was a bad Do you remember the pair of pants that we stood up yeah. in the corner by themselves, just stood them up. They had been, I don't, I don't, they were so dirty, they didn't stink anymore. They were just became stiff. <laughs> Did you I, ever wash your I only washed the girdle. girdle. I don't know. And that's, I hate I, saying that, but that's the, that's the, that's the area. Just for, the, yeah. just let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the, the undergarment that something. held the thigh and uh, what do you call it? Pads. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. So that's the, what I'm calling a girdle is Your that piece of, short, that every other football today. player was wearing. So let's just be clear. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing I washed, but it was, but like that helped anything. The football pants were totally saturated with the same sweat the girdles was. Yeah. But that barrier gave me a little piece. There was some gangrene in those girdles. Well, looking there, back I mean, at I mean, being in the medical field, how we didn't get some. Yeah, some sort of bacterial bad infection. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, well, it's so nasty. Okay, let me just tell you, I did have one. You want to hear about it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My sophomore year, which is when we could play high school, because it was junior high, it was eighth and ninth grade back then. So, sophomore year, we go to the field house, and, you know, we're getting the crappiest helmet because you're sophomores. Yeah. Go in the field when house. It falls and the, over your eyes. The, the, you have a huge cranium, so I, I, you know, I'm limited already. So there's only a few helmets that I can I can get. But one of them had a a guard, it, not just the cotton thing. It had the actual like a plastic guard. And I was like, oh, that one looks awesome. And I know the guy who's no longer with us anymore, who wore it the year before, and I thought it kind of looked cool too. So I get that. Did I think about Lysol in it, putting any sort of antibiotic, <laughs> antibacterial or anything on it? No. First practice, and of course, I didn't have chin hair, any facial hair back then. So it's going skin to skin. We have chin strap straight to skin. Wear it for the first day of practice. Think nothing about it. When I woke up the next day, my chin was whiteheads. <laughs> it was whiteheads from every every piece that the thing was covered. And, and you know, back then, when you're in school... That's a big deal. Oh, yeah. You don't want to go to go with whitehead face to school. And so I was just, I'm not going to go into any graphic <laughs> detail. I was trying to eliminate the whiteheads, but it didn't matter. When I got to school, everybody was like, dude, what's wrong with your chin? What's wrong with your chin? <laughs> how did we, how did we, how did you get there? <laughs> what the- well, that day was the first time I realized that bacteria was a real deal. And bacteria causes effects on your face, and so how did? But that was the worst thing. So oh, never thought about it. Back then. Well, so you know the 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 biggest question I get asked like, what was the biggest difference between high school and, and college? Right. Well, tell everybody they don't know about this. Playing football. So I played college football at the Stanford University. If you watch March Madness, we got Go robbed. Pull up his we, we got we got robbed. <laughs> yeah. We should have beat Kansas. Yeah, I include the highlight reel. Not, it's yeah. not worth watching, but. <laughs> <laughs> here's your, all those blocks. Here, here we all those blocks. Nobody cares about our offensive lineman. But it was. Did we have a shower in our in our? It was never. Used. I it never was filled saw with it. equipment. Right. That's exactly. I, right. Never, I, mean, I never was, knew we had a shower. So shower wasn't a thing, right? Yeah. So you do your your practice or whatever, and you just change. You smelled terrible. Absolutely. But you didn't care. I mean, you. I mean, think about. We didn't wash our gear. We didn't wash anything. So like day one of college football. 
if we get done with practice, or just <laughs> I just home. remember one of the upperclassmen. He comes over there and he's in his towel, like foot foot up on the bench, like full frontal, like things you don't want to see. Captain Morgan. It's like, hey, are you not going to shower? I was like, hold up. Wait, 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 <laughs> I was wait, like, wait. we have to do this now. Like this is yeah. A when thing. I get home, that was to me that was the biggest freshman induction of. Oh, we've got a shower. And at least we had like, Hygiene. there was space between the shower heads, right? There's probably four feet between each shower head. So that was cool. Like that, it took a little bit, but then after that, you were, you got used no to barrier? it. No barrier? No barrier. I and mean, we're just talking it about. It's community shower. Oh boy. But when we we're in go, prison. We were going on road trips, like the visiting locker room, and you had to shower on a visiting. There was no way you were going to load the bus, load the plane, whatever, back, unshower. Smelling like you used to smell. But the visitors, and I think they do this on pur- this, you know, purpose, right? Like you would have one pole with eight shower heads on it. And so everybody's no. standing shoulder to shoulder. Sh- shoulder wow. to shoulder. So that, to me, was one of the hardest adaptations of things. But talk about wow. hygiene. I mean, that was a wake-up call. I mean, and then after that, you just get used to it and you have zero care. Like, And then you're on the other spectrum of when you get out. And then you go to the YMCA and you're sitting in the hot tub just like an old 90-year-old man. You don't care. That's weird now, like because you're 20 years well, old. You just painted a mafia scene for me. To- <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> We're just we went full circle on that one. With all the chest hair and the gold chain. <laughs> it's just, hey. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you this. <clears throat> Going back to high school, our, our unused equipment storage shower, <laughs> did you go to homecoming, which was at that time right after the football game? Yes. At the gym. Did you go to homecoming unshowered? Yes. Oh. There's probably a 90% chance of yes. Mine's a hundred percent. I absolutely took <clears throat> off the football pads, put on the blue jeans, shirt, straight to homecoming. Today is so different. Is it? Oh, it's a production. Uh, homecoming I, I and forgot. all these events in high deal? school is <clears throat> a huge deal. I'm talking about I thought through everything you're going to wear, pictures beforehand. That's what they do the – presentation about how you ask them you have to yeah you can't just go up to uh, your date your potential date and say hey you want to go to homecoming this week it's a some sort of a special poster storybook kind of princess and (laughs) prince kind of deal it's just different i mean you're talking about that's only been 24 years ago i know that sounds kind of bad when i said that sounded worse when i said it but well you reminded me of a special homecoming story that i didn't think of prior to coming in here did you take theater arts is theater arts still a thing now Right. So I don't. I don't know if it's maybe still me thing, and you were still in the same class, but oh, I, I remember at this time, theater arts. Did you ever take that? I think you were in a play. No, this sounds. Like I, a don't I don't know. I don't. I don't. So theater arts was like a you would practice and then you would do a play at the end of the year, but it, the play really didn't happen until spring. So you had to fill your time with fall. So there's usually like a musical performance or something. It was a class really that we took as an easy A, right? Like it's an elective. Let's see, I think so. Yeah, and so. Love her to death. But uh, I think Titanic came out and and it was Celine Dion, My Heart oh, Will yeah. Go On. Right. Yeah. So there was all these like things that we would practice and there was like motions of like oh. this and, and all these like dances. Well, she's like, we are going to do this at homecoming during the halftime show. Mm-mm. I was like, well, this is great. I play football. You, you were probably yeah, in there. We play. Not going to have to participate. She's like, oh, you will participate. It's like well, on the field. On the field. Uh, how is this possible? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, I'm going through the logistics in my head. How yeah. is this possible? How am I going to know what to do at halftime? I'm going to be in full gear and I'm going to go out on the field. Is that what? Dude. Surely you're mistaken. Oh, Graham Lemon, you will be out there on the field and you'll be at the 50 yard line. So I immediately took that. I, I could just see it now. A week long of prep playing your, I don't know who we played at halftime, but rival, Crosstown rival. You put them to it for a half, and then you got to go out there and you're doing hand signals of <laughs> really on my heart will go on. Wow! Thank, thank you, Jesus. We didn't grow up in the time of social media, so I remember begging. I don't know who the coach was at the time, but this is like, coach, this cannot happen. Like yeah. this literally cannot happen. You cannot put me out on the field in full pads. Oh, don't worry about it, Graham. We got it covered. We got it covered. And so I think up until that week, we had had it covered. Not going to do it. Just so happens to be, and we didn't have a great football team. I think four wins to us was like yeah, national was championship. Yeah. Yeah, we, were, we were glad to take it. Just so happens to be, we were up 28 points or something at halftime. Nice. And it was one of these things, heading to the locker room, I felt good about myself. Like, hey, go team. I've escaped the halftime routine. I escaped the halftime routine. It's like, hey, 
um, because we're doing so well, I th- you're going to go out there. <laughs> Your punishment for s- doing playing. Here great. I go jogging out in full pads. <laughs> Born with Celine Dion. And Did half-time. you pull it off? I don't know, man. I, Where was I during this? I, you may have not been in the thing, but that I, I remember th- taking the. I know you're wearing sweatpants. You were wearing nah, sweatpants. You were looking good. Guaranteed. But can you imagine that? Like that's no things you look back on. I don't. I'm glad that didn't make my like college highlight reel of me performing Celine should Dion. Have. The biggest should takeaway. Have. I would have got, got more offers. <laughs> the biggest takeaway that I've got from that is the fact that we didn't have to deal with social media. Hallelujah. Are you in trouble? Well, we hope you're not. But just in case you are, we know a good lawyer. Whitney Island here in Hayden, Alabama, has law services. Or maybe if you're not from Hayden, I'm sure she'd be happy to hear from you. So check her out at uh, islandlaw.com. We appreciate Whitney and uh, her sponsoring the show. So we were at, again, back to football, we were at fall camp. And I think this was probably my junior year. This is a story I've never lived down. They still talk about it to this day. And I don't know why, but they were like, we need people to perform at this talent show. And so for 28 days, all you've seen is just your teammate. At Sanford. At Sanford. All you've seen is just a teammate. It's a grown man. Like you've not seen a woman in forever. (laughs) You haven't. I mean, (laughs) the heaviest trainer in the world starts to look like a (laughs) supermodel. You're at boot camp. You're at boot camp. So we go into the theater, still all dudes. And and they're like, well, Graham, I mean, you got got 48 hours to put something together. I'm like, all right. You guys remember Pat Green and Wave on Wave. Yeah. Oh, that was a good song. So I'm like, I'm going to rock out Wave on Wave. Wave on Wave is on the playlist that I woo these ladies at. So I'm like, all right, go out here, Wave wave on Wave. So they put me on stage. And again, I don't know. I'm not good. So I'm like, da, 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 da. I was like, that's not good. That didn't sound right. This is live. This is live. Okay. (laughs) I'm like, I'm like, are you sweating at this point? I'm like, I'm like, hey, let me start that over. Reboot. Da, 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 da. Oh. Yeah, had you practiced? Could you play the guitar? <laughs> All things people are saying in the state. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, everybody's like, get him off stage. <laughs> I'm like, all right, oh, I got it. I was like, um. <laughs> my pa, ma got no direction. <laughs> We're all playing the same game. <laughs> How many people are there? Dude, there's probably, this is the team. So it's probably 75. Oh, okay. Probably 75. And then you got keys to, it was the most gut-wrenching performance I've ever done. <laughs> Why didn't you go Church of Christ? And I just don't know. You know what we're going to do. Everybody's like, hey. I would have <laughs> left <laughs> and never come back. Hey. Uh, just, but so to this day, no matter what I accomplish, right, you will, if you like go check out my Facebook page, every year there's somebody that's going to drop in like, Pat Green, wave on wave. Oh, that's great. But it was like, speaking of talent shows, like that was the lack of talent show that performed what, for that. In your life, there's probably, you're good. You're never going to face a more awkward situation. That was Is that your most? Is that the most embarrassing? That was up there. That was up there. Yeah. If it's not number one, it's top three. Oh, man. Yeah. And there was video of it. So it came, we did another so we can find this? senior talent show. And do you have this? Is this on YouTube? Well, can like, I link this? Oh, man. It, so there's a guy out there I know who has video. It will probably resurface. Oh, because he made us. He made it during our senior talent show. He made this whole video, and that was the end of it. And everybody just stood up. Like, <laughs> oh, that yeah, is. Bravo. <laughs> and he had like quick zoom cuts of me and my awkwardness. Like, did you make it to the end of the song though? Did you go? Oh, all I got it out. You got it out. Yeah, we're all playing the same game. And I blamed it because. Right at the end, they were like, <laughs> the key here is like, I was going with my acoustic and I didn't have an amp. And the guy's like, here, you just play my electric guitar. So I blamed it on the guitar. It was not the guitar. Yeah, I'm not used it. to this it, guitar. It's, yeah, it's, it's just not my guitar. <laughs> the strings are different. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> that I mean, is horrible. Yeah. If you're in the market for a new house, I want to tell you about our latest sponsor, Vantage Plus. So they're general contractors. They specialize in new home construction, but also they do some uh, dirt moving work. So clearing land, making roads. Y'all check them out. We'll make sure that we uh, link the website and the phone number in the show notes. You know, as you make it as a senior in high school, you get these cool like titles. Oh yeah. PE aid, which was like a coveted title. I mean, if you were PE aid, that mean that you had to do something right. Like you were the dude. Mm -hmm. You just, that was the free pass to just roam. That was like, you were king. Homecoming King didn't make anything to PE aid. PE aid was the the real jams there. You were president. Yeah. And, And senior year, we're getting there towards the end. And 
we had a great dare officer, great guy. I think he's still around here, but it was Pat, it was Pat, Pat. officer Pat. And he was just a terrific guy. And, uh, I guess all of a sudden he, yeah, I was sitting there on top of the stage. I remember this because we were king we of were, my he castle. He recruited me to be in on. Oh, you were I, things yes. I did not know. Because he, we, we had to identify your car, your make sure. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was. was yeah, that was so. Let me set the stage in the gym, elevated stage. I'm on stage looking over my kingdom. Like mm-hmm. these kids, <laughs> right. these seventh and eighth graders, these peasants, these yeah. peasants yeah. as in, look at me. Yeah. I am, you can be this too at one day. Yeah. And he I comes am Caesar. in there. And there's probably, I don't know how many classes came in. There's probably a hundred kids in there. This is a pretty good crowd. Be- um, he comes in. Uh, Graham, um, going to need you to step outside the gym here. As you know, the drug dog has been around and he's kind of acting a little funny around your car. I've got nothing to hide. I was a good kid. I was like, man, it's not my car. You know, I think maybe I said it was spring. Maybe it's still football season. I don't know. But I was like, I probably got some leave in there, right? Mm-hmm. Like the dog's probably going <laughs> on a leave, right? Of headache medicine. So I go out there, drive an old nineteen ninety one Buick Century yeah, yeah, Velvedine yeah. is what we call it. Velvedine. A lot stuff. of memories in Velvedine. Anyways, German Shepherds around the car and it's sniffing. <laughs> You know, I'm like, yeah, this is whatever. They get around the gas can. I don't know how they did it, but they would throw like a tennis ball and the dog would chase the tennis ball. And then when it hits something that the dog would react to, anyways, it hits the gas tank. The dog's like, he locked on. Yeah. He's just scratching he my car. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not like, a big deal. I'm like, hey, he's it, reacting pretty it's a 91. He's reacting pretty strong to that. Yeah, I, was like, yeah. I was like, man. That'll leave. Wow. I guess it does. It really does work. That's why it's 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 it gets rid of headaches. Anyways, he opens the gas can. It's this huge bag of pot. Whoa. Huge. I'm like, first off, how did he get in there? I was like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The whoa, panic that, said, that's not mine. That's not mine. All the kids. You know how many times I've heard that, son? That's not mine. Yeah, all the kids. Yeah, that's what they all say. Tell, that, tell everybody else. All the kids are out on the front step, my peasants now. And they're all like, like we don't want to be that guy. Now he's really cool. Yeah, he yeah. pulls it out. He throws me on the car, right? And I'm like, he's just like, oh, man. Like, <laughs> And I think the whole school is out here. And here comes the the principal. I think it was Parker, yeah. right? And he's out there and he's like, you know, you're supposed to set an example. And now we got to haul you away in a police car. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just. How did this it so escalated poorly. pretty quickly. It got really it, bad yeah. really quickly. Yeah. And, and all I they, can think about is my dad. Just I could see my dad's face. Just Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Sam? You know what? <laughs> I mean, that's all I could see, but it got out of hand really fast. Like I, I'm, I'm, my future is done at this point. He's like, you got punked. Oh, <laughs> like that's where I was at. It just, that was, didn't he, but I didn't know you were in on it. Yeah. All this I, time. I knew, I knew. <laughs> that you that knew before. Time. Yeah. I knew before. I, I, you knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to be like. <laughs> the production that it turned into. Though. It was legit. Because he, he committed to it. Like, he was in on it. He was in on it. And had he not wow. put me on another prank, which didn't I he, shared. Didn't he, after this took place, didn't he, since you, his you were good after this, he yes. took us to your dad's house. In the back of the car. In the back car. of the car. It was me and you and maybe Face or, but had us handcuffed in the back of the car. Yeah. And I thought that was a good idea. After yeah, this had already yeah, yeah, experienced this, I, yeah. I thought, why not just double hop in the down? Back why not just let's double down? Yeah. Like, let's, because it's, you know, what's well, better than one joke? Two yeah. jokes. Yeah, two jokes. Yeah, that's exactly. really gonna. Why would I do that to myself? Pulled up to your dad's house, and your mom and dad come outside the boy, and he approaches, <laughs> and you're he's still. We're still back in the back, just giggling. <laughs> oh, this is I gonna be so funny. Serious. And then I think as he says, as he tells your dad, the you could see it. It was the like, look. Yeah, and just just like, staring. Abort. He, 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 abort. Yeah, this is bad. Joke's Maybe over. This was not Joke's a, over. You can't get out of the cop car. You're like, oh gosh, and you're handcuffed. On that. I, I remember seeing Officer Pat. He looks back and he's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, Maybe this was not. A, this is over two. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Rough. Uh, so why would we ever do that? You know what's better than one bad idea? Double down. Two bad ideas. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Steve, I want to I want to tie it up with. Just something that'll tell everybody about you. So let you remember the time that you tried to become Eminem. Let's just 
let's just have this as a, as a as a mint as we sign this thing up. Tell me, take me back. So you're what 20, 21. 21 years old. I had just gotten married. In the you gym. were still in the scene. We were working out, single, working out all the things. That this is at the same time where you had just got married, right? And I come to spend the night at your house. Yeah, I always wanted to have. I mean, I had blonde hair. Yeah, it's still blonde. You can look at it. Well, it's a little, it's a little more brown now or darker. But I don't know. I don't know what possessed me at that. But Adam Hicks was around at this time. We were working out. He had dyed his hair at one time. We were fixing to go to the beach for Jake's wedding. Um, and he said, "Let's dye your hair." And I said. Wait, who said let's dye your hair? Me and Adam. Adam, okay. And I said, okay. Or maybe I said, hey, I want to dye my hair. And he said, I'll help you or something to that. So I just thought you dyed your hair. Go to Walmart. Bleach blonde. Get the box. And it's, it's like blonde. And it's beautiful. It's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's beautiful. You get girls and everybody loves it. And yeah. mm-hmm. so we get to my house and I lived by myself at this point and we put it in. And just put it all over, leave it in for her, the, the, the allotted time. I don't know what the allotted time is. Maybe an hour, maybe forty five no, minutes, maybe twenty not. minutes. I don't know. <laughs> well, pull the cap off, wash it out, and it's just as blonde. And I was like, man, this is awesome. This is <laughs> this awesome. Is it. I I love it. Yeah. And like, I was like, I'm gonna get so many girls. Everybody's gonna think I'm cool. Oh yeah. I pulled it off. Go to bed. Apparently, when you have certain hair color types, like when you have blonde, there is a reddish gene somewhere in your genetic makeup that when dye comes in contact with red hair, it turns orange Mm. or yellow. So when I went to bed, it looked like that piece of paper. Platinum is looking good. It looked good. Mm -hmm. When I woke up and looked in the mirror, (laughs) it was panic sets. What did you see? I don't know at this point. I mean, it no. Was, when you're at the mirror, just talk me through it. You get up, you go to the bathroom. This golden orange, just hideous, hideous color. That <laughs> it was not how I went to bed. So you go to bed thinking about all the how all the girls how, are going to love it. What well, are you because we're leaving now? for the beach that day, that that, that that morning. And I'm just thinking about what a good time on how good I'm going to oh, look. Yeah. How, yeah, you yeah. know how. And so on the way, like when, when I wake up, and it's not that way anymore, <laughs> and I'm committed to the Different. trip, and there's it's nothing changed. you can do about it at this point. So we're rolling, and have to endure the whole beach trip looking like <laughs> I don't, I don't Carrot know. Top. You can, yeah, because yeah, you had the curls. Than, it was long and curly, and it was worse and, than carrot top. You had the like Superman curl in the oh, front it was, too. It yeah. Was, you had the good hair. There ain't no doubt about it. You look like Dirk Bentley. If that's if you want a picture Dirk's of Bentley's like, hair, but he, but not the color. But anyway, so endured the whole trip. You had to take. I mean, it was in the, not in the wedding, but like we were like, or did we just go? We or did we? I, and it, all I know is we had to take pictures. It was a beach wedding. Yeah. Yeah. We, there, there was appearances in the photos. I was in public and had hair that. I still don't know to this day. It was so bad that your wife, like after a few days, like, and here it is. I said, okay, I'm going to fix this. After we got back from bed, I said, I'm going to fix this. You've endured the torture. I went and got another bottle of bleach. Oh, just double down. And said, I'm going to make it blonde. (laughs) It's going to be blonde. It's going to be blonde. Yeah. Did it again. Turned it blonde. Woke up next morning, orange again. And I was like, oh, (laughs) My gosh. And I don't think you're supposed to do this more than once oh, because, no. like, your hair is like. Yeah, because it's chemicals. So then I went to Lindsay Horton. She did hair. And I said, you've got to fix my hair. <laughs> and so she pulled out the the legit women's platinum. And I looked like Cisco. You remember Cisco from. <laughs> dunna, 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 dunna. <laughs> and it, it did turn it white then. And I think I walked into your door. And that's when you're. Bethany's mouth fell open. I was like, it looked horrible. We've got to do something. So I'm on third. This will be number four. four. She said, I'm going to fix your hair. 
and went to a Dollar General or the Walmart, whatever, and bought brown hair dye. So we're on round four of dyeing my hair. How it didn't fall out or how my scalp didn't catch on fire, I don't know. But to this day, I'm thankful that she pulled it off, that I didn't have to endure that that hair anymore. Your next <laughs> she, step was shaving it. Shaving it. Yeah. It, but she pulled it off. I mean, it made it look tolerable. Um, well, the question that's begging to be asked, have you dyed your hair since then? No. <laughs> Lesson learned. Well, now it's turning gray, so. It's, it's, I, it's got natural it's, highlights. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, no, I didn't touch my hair after that point. It's so funny how we feel like that we got to do these modifications to. Well, I mean, look, back in the day, Justin Timberlake, I mean, he died. Oh, he had, yeah, had the frosted yeah, tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had the look. You know? He had the look. You and, had the look. And I was like, man, this is. You were just thinking, look, I've already got the Abercrombie jeans. I've got the front tuck. I've got I have the sweatbands. I've got to finish it. I've got so much product in my hair. I've got and the now Oakley I just need one more thing, and well, that's going to be irresistible. Just top right. it off. Like, they're all going to be flocking. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to turn them away. Turn them. Eat as a, <laughs> take a baseball bat with you everywhere you go. <laughs> Golly. Well, fellas, we've talked. I think I think what I've seen today, listen back, is stories of bad ideas. From wave on wave <laughs> to wave on wave. Uh, hair dye. To hair dye, hair dye, to buy and dip, dip for underage people. But it's been a lot of fun. So Graham here, I mentioned that he's the creator the Fit Fat Dad podcast, and I want you to check them out. Give us just give them give them a reason to come over there and see you on YouTube, Spotify, Apple because it's awesome, and you get Plain to look at him. But yeah. really, what we try to do is we we know that men like I won't say struggle, but there's all these things that go through our head. We have we are the example of struggle. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? And, and so we we we've set the ball. We yeah. try to bring that into a lighthearted phase, and we ask questions that men think about whether it's. Should a man be able to bench press a certain amount or should a man eat certain foods or should a man be this type of parent? We try to bring that out in a, in a lighthearted way. Um, we just really encourage you to come over and check it out. It's, it's a good show. We tell a lot of stories too. Um, can I ask you this? Well, and maybe you can tie this into your, your podcast. I asked Savannah the other day about leg. What did women wear before leggings? Like what was, <laughs> and so then my, then my question was, should men ever wear leggings? Dude, is he not speaking? He's speaking into you right now. Negative, negative. Hey, he yeah. I mean, do you, just, you yeah. ever think that team? would be a socially accepted? <laughs> no. You don't so, think so? So here we go. We, we have an episode that should a man look at a woman in yoga pants, right? Like that's something that, and it's an absolutely clean episode. Uh, to your question, no, in my opinion, a man should never Can wear Can you imagine? Leggings. If you just go into but Walmart. It, it, yeah. like it, And you see men in leggings. What the side would pants. be? That you would have to endure. Now, you wait a minute. Let's just real quick. So we're talking about Alabama. We don't see a lot of men in leggings, but that may not be the case it, across the country. That is true. Well, it's been a lot of fun. I, I appreciate you guys coming on the show. Your grand made the drive all the way from Huntsville this morning. So we, we really... We're trying to get him back. Honored to the Hayden here. area. Yeah. He left the one of the smallest cities in the state for the Biggest. largest now city in the state of Alabama. He got he, he got too big for us, but we're trying to get him <laughs> rocket city. negative. Diverted through Birmingham, back through Hayden, back to Huntsville. And so. Steve just had to he just had to hitchhike. Yeah, he I just he just walked across here from the crossing. Road. You never know. I may come back. You just <laughs> never know when you visit the stumble in yeah. here. Well, I appreciate y'all being on here. This is Hayden Alabama podcast. I'm Philip. I'm Stephen. I'm Graham. We'll see you next time.